around you. You have to speak a little louder. My ears are still ringing from the drilling. Uh. Shh! You're destroying the holy illuminescence of the stone slabs. And if they lose their illuminescence, they certainly won't be in the mood to reveal their secret anymore. And there's no doubt that they have a secret. I know Templar symbols when I see them. Where there are Templars, a secret crypt with details on church conspiracies can't be far. If only I knew which slab to look under, but such knowledge was probably lost long ago. No one is old enough to still remember the age of the Templars. Otherwise, I'm sure I'd have long since had that church conspiracy by the scruff of its neck. If it's one that has a neck, because there are those with a neck and those without. Lily was impressed. Everything Frank said made sense. Um... Sorry, Lily, but I'm just not interested in small talk. All I care about are church conspiracies. There's a lot to talk about there, but unfortunately, most of it's secret. And if I don't know where to drill, I won't be able to uncover the secret anyway. So either you help me find the right stone slab, or you just leave. That would be fine with me too. Uh... Shh, for a second. Oh great, if there's just been a landslide in the Templar's subterranean crypt, then now I've missed it. How the hell are you supposed to uncover church conspiracies if you keep getting interrupted? Just the constant stream of people going to confession is getting on my nerves. But compared to you, they're as quiet as church mice. I have no idea who they are. They creep into the confession booth and only come out when it gets too noisy for them. All that will be over with as soon as I have the right tool for my excavation anyway. Please stay off the slabs, okay? You're interfering with my research. this noise. Hey, Frank, Frank. Ah, what the hell. You seem so tense. Is something wrong? Lily would have liked to tell him her troubles, but she didn't want to give Edna away. Uh-uh. Well, if you need anything, I'm always there for you. I worry about you, you know? Know each other? Uh-huh. Uh. uh ooh, how rude of me. I forgot to tell you, um, to tell you how it used to be when the pyramids were built. I was the chief flogger on the north side. Yes, yes, in my life I've unified. Unified Tibet, I said. Back then, I served as a carpet beater under three different Dalai Lamas. For one of them, I was even there as a rebirth assistant in the maternity ward. It was very different from the year I was an interior decorator for the Mayas. Build a mythical sliding puzzle here, hide a few artifacts in dark alcoves over there. 
Oh, yes. I was building secret crypts when you were still in... in... in the indie band Inquisition Overload. But it flopped, unfortunately. The time wasn't right for that kind of music. Plus, our drummer had the plague. Uh, I got old. So old that all I'm good for now is as an exhibition piece for history, Clive. Clive. I'll get to that in a moment. First, I wanted to tell you... Telling stories takes a lot of skill. That's why I worked for a while as an exhibition piece for history class in a convent school. I just had to tell stories about my adventures once a week. For example, how I used to excavate secret crypts with the Templars below the school chapel. Or about my time as a lighting assistant for the moon landing. Uh, wait. Wasn't I just about to tell you something? Fortunately, I created a memory aid just for this anecdote. Uh-oh. Someone tidied up the shelf. That's where the objects for my three E's should be. Emotion, engagement, and eating. Without the three E's, how am I supposed to reasonably... Reasonable would have been to have just let it be. Now, let's see. Uh. No, no, no fear. I haven't forgotten your earlier question. On the contrary, I'm known for remembering everything all the time. This is thanks to a little trick I learned from an old Chinese mason long ago. All I need is a memory aid, like objects that remind me of the three E's. The first E stands for emotion. It tells me whether I was sad, happy, or angry in that situation. The second E stands for engagement. It reminds me of whether I overcame the situation with strength, heroic courage, Oh, sleepiness. The third E stands for eating. To remember, I have to know which fruit I ate that day. Vitamins are good for the... Uh, for the... Uh, Did I tell you about my memory aid yet? I don't think so. All I need are three objects that remind me of that particular situation. Or more precise. Does that... Uh. What's the matter, sweetheart? Did you forget your question? Here's a small tip. Just try to remember the three E's. The first E, it tells... The second, it reminds me of whether I overcame the situation with strength... Heroic courage. The third E to remember. Uh. Oh, wait, fortunately. Uh oh, someone tied that's way more with reason. Now, let's see.
On this one specific day when I was helping the Templars, I was neither happy about an apple nor angry about a banana. But I also wasn't sad about a banana or happy about a coconut. On this one specific day when I was helping the Templars, I was neither happy about an apple nor angry about a banana. But I also wasn't sad about a banana or happy about a coconut.
Freedom SP said. What's that? Me. Said. Hey Freedom SP, it's a puzzle game called Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. Me. Said. Him trying to solve the old man's riddle smiley face. Me. Said. Staring at it for about ten minutes now. I think I almost got it, I think. Hey, don't touch it. That's my old Boy Scout equipment. Only certified Boy Scouts are allowed to touch it. Lily knew she wasn't supposed to play with her food. Food was such a sore loser. And when it started acting up, Lily would get scared. Hmm? W what Do we know each other? Uh-huh. Oh, wait. Wasn't I just about to tell you something? Fortunately, I created a memory aid just for this anecdote. Now, let's see. We had just laid the stone slabs in the chapel when the Templar Knights returned from a secret meeting. We ate a banana together. Uh, no, wait. That's not how it was. This story doesn't make any sense. Someone's been messing with my memory aid. It was the old man's memory aid. If Lily wanted him to help her, she had to find the right objects. An emotion an engagement, and something to eat. <coughs> hmm? 
Hmm? W what? Do we know each other? Uh-huh. Uh... Oh, wait. Wasn't I just about to tell you something? Fortunately, I created a memory aid just for this anecdote. Now, let's see. We had just laid the stone slabs in the chapel when the Templar Knights returned from a secret meeting. Then they tossed an apple at me. Uh, no, wait. That's not how it was. This story doesn't make any sense. Someone's been messing with my memory aid. Hmm? W what Do we know each other? Uh-huh. Uh... Oh, wait. Wasn't I just about to tell you something? Fortunately, I created a memory aid just for this anecdote. Now, let's see. We had just laid the stone slabs in the chapel when the Templar Knights returned from a secret meeting. Then they gave me a coconut. Uh, no, wait. That's not how it was. This story doesn't make any sense. Someone's been messing with my memory aid. Me. Said. That didn't work sad face, so much for trial and error. Hey! Don't touch it! That only... Once again, Lily's efforts were in vain. Only Mother Superior could open the cabinet. Ew. Don't distract me. Can't you see I'm working? Huh, probably not. You probably don't even know what hard work looks like. Huh. Stop bothering me. If you carry on like this, I'll never get my last award. The Golden Girl Scout's badge on a ribbon. Oh, yes. Have you asked Mother Superior about the motif for the next banner yet? Uh-uh. Well then, get going. Have you asked Mother Superior? Uh-uh. Well then. Oh. Take your little boo-boos to Mother Superior. I'm not her deputy. Yet. But maybe that'll change once I've collected all my awards. <laughs> I'm already her favorite. Um, in case you're wondering what I'm doing here, it's called embroidering. Uh, I know it's not your area of specialty. Otherwise, I doubt Mother Superior would have banned you from taking it. What a shame. I know how much you've always enjoyed embroidering. Lily had to admit that Birgit was right. Her productive friend was really much more talented. But that was certainly no reason for Lily to wish an incurable disease on her. Neither a disease with an oozing rash, nor a disease that causes her to cough her lungs out. Uh, why don't you get to the point already? You seem to be lacking a few important lessons in values and standards. Haven't you learned anything at all from my multi-award winning embroidery? Each animal has an assigned character trait. Bears represent strength, and deer stand for heroic valor. There are negative role models too, of course. The porcupine, for example, is especially slow and sleepy. That's why you'll never find one on one of my banners. But maybe it's in your family's coat of arms. Uh, why don't you get to the point already? You, haven't you learned each animal? Bears 
represents they are a negative role model. The porcupine, for that's why you're... But maybe... Uh, why don't you get to the point of... You seem to be lacking. Haven't you learned anything? Each animal has an assigned character trait. Bears represent strength, and deer stand for heroic valor. There are negative role models too, of course. The porcupine, for example, is especially slow and sleepy. That's why you'll never find... Me. Said. Never find okay, one on one this is what I also family. need for the memory but aid. Maybe it's in your family's coat of arms. The mask was tightly screwed into the wall. But did that also mean that one wasn't allowed Freedom to SP. take it? No. Said, WTF is this game? The right tools. Something small enough to loosen the screws. Oh, what luck. Lily was relieved. Hey, Freedom SP. How's it going, man? Yep, this is one of the puzzle games I've uh, left and come back to. I think I played this last about a year ago, maybe even two years ago. So you gotta figure out all Freedom the Freedom SP said, I'm good. That's good, man. Last few hours for us uh, on the weekend. If I thought I'd just play some puzzle games. This Freedom Sunday. SP said, I must do that. <sighs> the mask was tightly screwed into the wall. But did that also mean that one wasn't allowed to take it? No, it only Freedom means SP you have to find said, the right H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H <laughs> Lily wasn't able to loosen the screw with her bare hands. She needed a different tool. Freedom SP said, Lily took her search for the I right tool very seriously. That's why she held every object she carried against the screw to check if it would loosen it. Mother Superior placed her kettle over the fire here, but at this time of day she preferred to drink her calming tea in the cafeteria. Mother Superior had forbidden Lily from eating the deadly nightshade berries, but no one had said anything about taking them.
There seemed to be some kind of bracket up on the wall. But Lily couldn't continue without more Freedom light. Freedom SP said, How are you, hum? Ah, thanks for asking, Freedom SP. Uh, I'm, I'm good, I'm okay. Just having a chilled Sunday. Trying to figure out this puzzle. There seemed to be some kind of bracket. It's been very quiet this But weekend. Lily couldn't continue so that's without a more good light. Thing, I think. Also just wondering what game I should play next. Uh, I don't know what new games are coming out this month. Freedom SP said, I like bears Lily didn't and want to I'm spoil a bear her nice bear. friendship with the flower. Plants were the only things that still listened to her. <laughs> That's funny. Lily didn't think that Lumpy would eat it. Either there was a picture missing here, or there was one too many hooks. Okay, don't judge me now. I'm just trying this out. Lily had to make sure she didn't get the skewer in her eye. It was so easy Freedom to have an SP accident. Said, is that horror please not? Uh, not entirely. Lily didn't think that Lumpy would eat it. Lily didn't want to spoil her nice friendship with the flower. Plants were the only things that still listened to her. Lily didn't think that Lumpy would eat it. I couldn't play Hat, uh, if you remember, uh, Hat Man, Shadow Ward. Couldn't actually play it because it crashed eventually. I couldn't get it back to my save game. So maybe I must actually look into getting another horror game and uh, playing that next. Freedom SP said, Do you like shooter? Yep, definitely. Uh, but I played a shooter just recently. Uh, Battlefield 3. Um, yeah, but maybe a shooter's uh, next one. I, I saw Rage uh, 2 was on special, so might install that and play that. Stop dawdling, feed the cat, and don't forget to remind Burgett to finish the embroidery if the self control motif isn't finished today. I will really blow my top. Self-control is important! <sighs> now leave. I have to drink a calming tea. Mother Superior only cared about results.
So why should Lily bother her with interim reports? Freedom SP said, Warface is a good free-to-play shooter. <sighs> you impertinent little slug! I can't stand it when people gossip about me behind my back! The youth of today is becoming ever more insolent! No wonder, with all the violence and foul language in the media! If I could, I'd twist your heads off one by one! Uh, where are my cannon jars? I need something to calm my fingers! Otherwise, something terrible might happen here! Yeah, that, uh, I've seen Warface. Uh, I think it's on Steam. I'll try to download it and play it. Looks like a good game. Um... Uh, now I understand! You came to complain about the food, right? Well... Then I have bad news for you! Children only get food from canning jars! And that's that! My hands are trained to twist the lids off! I haven't been wringing the necks of caged chickens for 20 years for nothing! Plus, I've got a court order that says I gotta open 10 jars a day! You can thank my idiotic lawyer for that! <sighs> Anything else? Do I have to explain it to you with puppets? Mealtime ended long ago! The only thing that I'm still cooking today is food for Mother Superior's cat! And the food for Mother Superior herself! Or I should say I would. But my knife disappeared. And on top of that, the stove in the cellar has gone out. So I couldn't cook anything anyway. However, the most important thing is that Mother Superior still wanted to send a recipe to me. You don't happen to have it on you, do you? Huh? Don't bother! I won't be able to cook without my knife anyway! Ugh, when I get my hands on the child that stole my knife, they'll be amazed with all the things a knife can do! Freedom SP. Um, uh, forget said, the recipe! Good night and have fun, LMAO, LMAO. Tomorrow anyway. I must go to work. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Freedom SP. Uh, have a good night, and have a good uh, working day, I guess. Cheers, and thanks again. Hope to see you soon. No recipe? Uh-uh. Yeah, then there's no reason for you to be here! You? Before you ask for more food again, it's been hours since I held a canning jar in my hand. My hands always get a bit nervous at times like this. They break everything they touch. Children's legs, children's arms. I just can't control them. Hmm. What's the matter? Why are you staring at me like that? What are you even doing here between mealtimes? I know what I'm doing here. A jail sentence commuted to 10 years community service on probation thanks to diminished responsibility! Blah, 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 blah. Do you really want to hear this? Uh-uh. Yeah. Mother Superior didn't want to hear it either. And as long as she doesn't ask about it directly... But... What now? I've all children after that. I've had it up to here! Haven't I told you a thousand times already? Get the hell out! Just wait! Can I have that? I need something to calm my fingers! Thanks! That was close! Now take your stuff and get out! Now! The liquid smelled like Doris's breath, or the cap of the lawnmower's fuel tank, which Lily loved to play with. The guinea pig was probably tired. Hopefully, Lily would have time to play with it later.
You again! You shouldn't be wandering the strangest, and I have an alibi! like the termites had found a new home. And one of the gnomes that Lily saw now and then was in the process of painting it in various colors. Too bad that Freeman was no longer here. He would probably have liked it too. Um. Ooh, look who's coming to get her recipe back. If it isn't our little goody two-shoes Lily, you better split before I tie your shoelaces together. Or worse. You're upset. Did the nasty boy bother you again? Uh-huh. <laughs> You're such a crybaby. Uh? Tell me, how come you even dare to come here anyway? You know we're not allowed to play in the garden anymore. Or did Mother Superior send you? You can tell your beloved Mother Superior that I don't give a damn about her stupid rules. Ha! <laughs> But I bet you're too scared. You're scared of your echo, right? And you should be, because one day, when you least expect it, who knows? You might turn around and see that someone has stolen your milk. <laughs> um. Have you lost your mind? If you want the recipe, you'll have to come get it. I knew it. You're just not tough enough for a rebel like me. <laughs> if you're trying to impress me, you'll have to work a little harder. You're too scared to even hunt sparrows. And that means you won't get your recipe either. Um. Have you lost? If you... I knew it. You just... Shawnee was mean. First he had stolen Lily's recipe, and now he was setting cobwebs at the well on fire. Still, Lily didn't think he deserved having spiders lay eggs in his eye sockets at night. Good children didn't have such thoughts. You seem so tense. If Lily would have liked it. Uh -uh. Well, if you need anything, I worry about you. Stay away from us. You're out of your mind running around here with real explosives. Much too hardcore. That won't work at all. Take it somewhere where it can't do any damage. A bomb-proof place. A fireproof drum or something like that? Down with the dark forces! Stay away from us! You're out of your mind running around here with real explosives. Much too hardcore. That won't work at all. Take it! Some a bomb a fire down with the And are you making progress? So you've been working on your imitating animal voices number. You can tell me about it later, okay? <sighs> First, we have to get rid of Garrett. I'm sure he's spying for Mother Superior. 
I'm sorry that I can't help you, but I can't risk Dr. Marcel finding me. You know what they say about him. It's all true. Except the story with the orangutan. I made that one up. Uh, not so loud. Dr. Marcel's ears are everywhere. If you listen closely, you can even hear the wind blowing in his ear hairs. That guy is no joke. But you know the rumors, so watch out for him. He is evil. Evil. Lily's embroideries were useless. Mother Superior had said that more than once. Lily could no longer destroy her things. Lily had heard that alcohol didn't solve problems. That was certainly true. It was hopeless. Edna's balloon was hanging out of reach. Lily wasn't allowed to play with the things she found in the chapel, but that didn't matter. She also had fun just looking at the board. The narrator was slowly losing interest in coming up with motives for Lily's action. The truth of the matter was, no one knew what she was doing and why. Lily thought she had found the right tool to loosen the tiny screws, but it was just another way to waste time. Lily took her search for the right tool very seriously. That's why she held every object she carried against the screw to check if it would loosen it. Lily got along great with Doris, the lunch lady. That's why she knew Doris would start throwing knives if anyone messed up her pantry. Lily got along great with Doris, the lunch lady. That's why she knew Doris would start throwing knives if anyone messed up her pantry. Lily knew she wasn't some food, and when is Lily wasn't allowed, but that didn't. What? Huh? What? Quick, close the door before anyone sees me. This is the last safe place of the entire convent, and I wanted to stay that way. Uh, don't even try talking me out of it. I'm staying here. It's much too dangerous out there. Lily had no idea what Memphis was talking about. But he'd always been jumpy. But, psst, someone might hear you, and then they'll take away my hiding place. And if they take away my hiding place, then I'll definitely be next. The stove is the safest place in the entire convent. You know, it has a corrupt steel casing, titanium-reinforced interior walls, 
and he's led Cody inside. I'd even survive a bomb attack in here. Um. Now get lost before someone discovers me. If you're looking for your recipe, talk to Shorty. He pocketed it. La, 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 la. The end of the world is near. We're damned, damned. It was the perfect place to get rid of the detonator. What's that? Well, what do you have there? Lily could finally use the hairpin. Does it have to blink like that? Lily closed the door again to keep Memphis's hiding place safe. Oh, Lily? Lily? Something seemed to be wrong with Lily's ears today. She kept hearing all these sounds. The stove was black and empty, just like the mirror that always appeared in Lily's dreams. Lily got along, that's what the stove just This ball of wool, Lily wanted it to stay in the... This ball, Lily... In the meantime, Lily... But no treasure... Lily could no longer destroy... In the meantime, Lily had collected many little... But no treasure... Apparently, Lily, Edna, the tire swing was dangling. Lily would have loved to have played on the completely harmless tire. Uh -uh. That's why she immediately climbed on the termite-infested tree. Uh -uh. At least she would have done that. But apparently, she preferred the risk of getting into deep trouble as soon as the player... The yard waste was rotting away leisurely in the composting bin. A paradise for maggots and spiders. Lily couldn't stop watching the fascinating activity in there. It was too bad. Shawnee didn't. Lily had to find. Lily thought this idea was delightful. The g
Birgit was much. She had to be. Ew! Don't can't you see? Huh? Huh? At least this is a regular animal motif. But do you think it also conveys really important values? Of course it did. Guinea pigs were cute and small, but always cheerful. Lily always tried to follow their example. Uh huh. Hmm. Well, if you say so. Come back in a few minutes. If you don't bother me, I won't take long. Stay away from you're out of your much that down with it. You again, you shouldn't be what is straight, and I have an ally. Um, you're starting to get meal time, and as long as there's unless you have. Is that really feed the Lily had heard that alcohol didn't solve problems. That was certainly true. The original Marusha Naoki general purpose hairpin wasn't as useful as Lily had imagined. Alcohol that was so Lily would have liked to help the gnome with his work, but she had her own chores to do. Too bad. The faucet was dry. Lily knew it was bad manners to burn things she found in the chapel.
perfect. The hairpin fit exactly into the holes. This was certainly not the ideal tool to loosen the screw, and as long as Lily didn't have a compelling reason, she didn't have to take the risk. cafeteria as quickly as possible. The banner was magnificent. Birgit had done an incredible job. The banner Birgit Ah, Birgit has finally finished the new banner. But what's that? A small, 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 dirty Skinny pig! Birgit didn't really make this, did she? Uh-huh. That ca ca can't be true! Can I not rely on anyone here? Just you wait! She'll get what's coming to her! The banner was a disgrace. Get rid of it! You again! You shouldn't be wandering the cafeteria! The strangest and I have an I can't even tell you how disappointed I am in you, Birgit. This is the worst job I've seen in my entire career. But... Don't talk back. You are bad. I will probably have to strip you of all your awards, prizes, and Girl Scout badges. You no longer deserve any of them. But I only did what... Hogwash! Do you really wish to contradict me? I can't believe how low you've sunk, Birgit. A guinea pig? It's unbelievable! Your work is an insult to the entire convent. Get rid of it. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to. Your whining won't make up for your failures. Just in case you decide not to waste my time with your ineptitude anymore. Here is a motif that's worth immortalizing on a banner. The Puma. Strong, precise, dignified. A symbol of self-c-c-control. Lily would have liked to comfort her. But on the other hand, it really was her own fault. Lily hoped for Birgit's sake that she would try a little harder with the puma motif. Stop that! I need that as 
a template. Hmm? W what Do we know each other? Uh-huh. Uh... uh oh, wait. Wasn't I just about to tell you something? Fortunately, I created a memory aid just for this anecdote. Now, let's see. On that day, I was particularly... Angry, we had just laid the stone slabs in the chapel when the Templar Knights returned from a secret meeting. They checked the stability and praised my strength. We ate a banana together. Uh, no, wait, that's not how it was. This story doesn't make any sense. Someone's been messing with my memory aid. Hmm? W what Do we know each other? Uh-huh. Uh... uh oh, wait. Wasn't I just about to tell you something? Fortunately, I created a memory aid. Now, let's see. On that day, I was particularly... Happy? We had just laid the stone slabs in the chapel when the Templar Knights returned from a secret meeting. They examined my work and praised me for doing a heroic job. Then they tossed an apple at me. Uh, no, wait. That's not how it was. This story does someone's... Hmm? Do we... Uh-huh. Uh... uh oh, wait, fortune now on that... Sad. We had just laid the stone slabs in the chapel when the Templar Knights returned from a secret meeting. First they had to wake me because I was very sleepy. Then they gave me a coconut. Uh, no, wait. That's not how it was. This story doesn't make any sense. Someone's been met.
Hmm? Do we need... Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh. You're fortunate now on that. Sad. We had just laid the stone slabs in the chapel when the Templar Knights returned from a secret meeting. First they had to wake me because I was very sleepy. We ate a banana together. Uh, no, wait. That's not how it was. This story doesn't make any sense. Someone's been messing. Hmm? Do we... Uh-huh. Uh... uh for now on... Sir, we had just laid... First they had to wake me, because I was very sleepy. Then they tossed an apple at me. Uh, no, wait. That's not how it was. This story... Um, Do we uh -huh. uh, no. Happy we first they had then they tossed an apple at me. Uh, this someone Hmm? Do we... Uh-huh. Uh... uh Forge not on the... Happy? We had just laid the stone slabs in the chapel when the Templar Knights returned from a secret meeting. They checked the stability and praised my strength. Then they tossed an apple at me. Uh, no, wait. That's not how it was. 
This story some Mm hmm? Do uh huh? Uh. If now. Sad. We are just. First. We ate a banana. This stop someone's. Do we? Uh huh. Uh. Ford. Uh, on that angry, we had just the exact. Then they. It was here. I even still have the book in which I wrote everything down, including the meaning of the secret Templar symbols on the stone slabs. And now, please leave me alone. All this reminds me too much of how I once helped a little girl uncover the mystery of the secret crypt below the chapel. One day I really have to tell you that story. <laughs> Lily, they were all he had left. Lily was reluctant to take the old man's memories again. They were all he had left. Hey, that's my... Thanks for watching guys, I might see you a little bit later, but thanks for stopping by.